Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a custom carrier logo on your iPhone or iPad without jailbreak. First thing you need to do is go on to your device. Once on your device, go into Settings, General, About, and scroll down to see Carrier. Now I have Bell, and my carrier version is 14.2. You're going to need to memorize these, as you're going to need to put it into the program later. Now we're going to need to go to the computer. First, we have to click Let's Get Started, which is the same on both Mac and Windows. Once you go in, Mac is going to say we're going to need some quick info, and Windows is going to give you all at once. So the first thing you're going to do is put in the carrier version number. For Mac, you can see right here where it says to input it, it's going to be the number I already showed you, to, showed you how to get, which is 14.1 for me. So I'm going to put that in there, like so. And on Windows, at the very top, it says Current Carrier Version. We're going to put that number in there. Next, we're going to go down to where it says Device and Carrier. First, hit your device. So I'm, gonna, I'm on an iPhone. And Carrier for me is Bell. And there's plenty of car carriers here. Now, not all the carriers are available, but most are. If you are in a very small or not popular carrier, it may not be there but don't worry all the main big carriers are so on Mac we're just gonna hit next and it's gonna ask you for what we just put in, in Windows alright so customization this is where you put in your carriers I already have some here and I will include some in the description however carrier editor works like Zeppelin Mod and Cydia so if you google search Zeppelin Mod logos they will all come up and you can download any one of them and drag them in here that will allow you to use Cydia logos on here without jailbreak which is pretty cool so as you can see I just drag my logos in and now we're going to go over to Windows on Windows you can't drag them in you have to click browse so you hit browse and wherever you save them so I save them here there's multiple ones there's black etched and silver now for black you want to put in where it says black slash white logo so you want to choose that one for etched you're going to want to choose your etched logo which I did here and when you just download them, they will all say either black or etch, so you'll know which one is which. So you can do logo from file, which is what I've done, which is the simplest one, or you can do from text. So you can actually choose this. You can type in hello or whatever you want as your text. Choose. You can change your font. You can change the color. You can do whatever you want just to get it customized how you're liking. But I'm not going to do this. We're going to go with the logo. So last but not least, you're going to hit Create IPC Carrier Bundle, and that's going to go, it's going to give you this message, and it's going to put them on your desktop. And on Mac, we're going to hit Compile Carrier Update, and same thing, it's going to say Complete, and put the files in your desktop. So now, we're going to have to move over to iTunes. Alright, so now that your device is plugged in, and you have iTunes open, click on it in the top right corner, and it should bring up this screen. Now, you're going to hit... If you're on Win Windows, you're going to hold Shift and click Restore, and if you're on Mac, you're going to hold Option and click Restore. Now it's going to bring up this little thing here, and you're going to go to where your, your desktop, where the program rendered out your two carriers. Now you're going to see Restore, which is your original one, and if you click that, it'll bring you to your Bell carrier, or whatever your default carrier is. And the other one is going to be your new one, your custom one. So if you click that, and you hit Open, it's going to go like that and now it's going to be on your iPhone and now you have a custom carrier alright now we have the pros and cons of this tweak first up we have pros and really the only pro to this is that it's custom which is really a lot because you can make it anything you want you can change color of it different from other iPhones it's just a really cool tweak in general to have and for cons I wouldn't really say there's anything to it because there's nothing negative about this, except there is one thing you should take note of, which is it can take control of your status bar, which doesn't really mean it's going to take over it and you can't use it. It's just going to, if you make it too big, it will expand and go all the way up to the clock. Now, it will stop at the clock. It can't go any farther than that, but it will cover up your Wi-Fi, your service bars, and that gets kind of annoying, so you want to make sure you don't make it too big if you're going to make a custom one. Now, if you do make a custom one, the height of the image has to be 40 pixels, and the length is up to you. Now if you make it a square image, 40 by 40, it'll be fine, 40 by 80, should be fine depending on your carrier, sometimes of different notifications, but it should all be good. Now I do guarantee you, if you use the pre-made ones that are going to come with these, when you download them, you will be fine and you'll have no problems. It's just you want to make a custom one. 
Also, if you do have any questions or comments about making custom ones, please leave a comment below and I will gladly make a video of how to make custom ones. So, thanks for watching.